In this video, it's extreme weather EV testing. Well, we weren't planning on making this video, but it is um, snowy, it is icy, it is quite cold. So we thought we'd see what impact that has on the range and what it's like driving an electric car on ice and snow. To start with, here's some footage from when I woke this car up this morning when it was considerably below freezing. So we're doing a bit of um, EV extreme weather testing today. We are um, entirely frozen. We are battering an entire five kilowatts on the um, heater at the moment, trying to defrost. I could use a kettle of warm water. That's my usual technique. Rear window is clearing quite nicely. That light isn't flashing as it looks. Now we're going two minutes 20 so far, seeing how much range we're going to lose. 54 miles. I can see the uh, windscreen is starting to clear already. The side window's well on the way. I have to shout because the fan on the highest of its settings is so very, very loud. But let's do the sun visor trick, shall we? Apparently that traps the warm air near the windscreen. This is why you always check your wiper blades before um, operating the windscreen wipers on a cold day. They're entirely frozen into place. So trying to operate anything would be uh, very, very damaging. Plus side of um, halogen headlamps is it's defrosting the headlamps quite nicely. But uh, yeah, gonna have to wait a bit more before we can operate the wipers. So it's been defrosting for six minutes now. We've lost um, a couple of miles of range and 1% on the battery, which uh, I don't think is too bad. The windscreen wipers are freeing up from the windscreen so soon we will be able to travel away. Just give things a little bit longer to melt. And now some footage inside Le Voiture. So here we are up near Buch Nantararian, um, just out of Aberystwyth. It is uh, snowy and uh, I'm going to pop into this lay by here. I think mean, this should be sufficient for our needs. Let's try not to get stuck in it. A couple of reasons for coming in here with the electric car. I wanted to demonstrate that one pedal driving uh, on ice is a bad idea because you can kind of feel the uh, ABS kicking in with your one pedal driving song. So again, ease off. And you can hear the click, 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 click as the ABS is doing its thing. So, oh, that's the stereo. We want to shush. Uh, I'm gonna put us back in normal mode, so we're, I have to use the brake pedal to actually slow down. Of course, the other problem with electric um, on ice is it struggles for traction quite a lot. The biggest difference is our average consumption uh, has been very badly affected, I would say, by the cold. We have just climbed a very big hill, but currently we are averaging, come in and have a look, 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour against an overall average since I got the car of 4.6. So cold weather and hills has battered that hard. Now it's a combination of things, it's a combination of um, heater use, but the car is also heating the battery pack to keep the battery chemistry happy. Otherwise it just falls off a cliff. I've seen this with my own mobile phone and the laptop. If you're in a cold place, the battery just goes completely. The capacity is just nowhere to be seen. And here we are, having fun in the snow. What a beautiful spot. Look at all the kites. Yeah, kite circling, going, this is freezing. Yeah. Right, so what happens if we turn off the traction control? <laughs> That's what happens. Lots of wheel spin is what happens. Check we've got everything. Yep, everything back in the car. Maybe, maybe we'll keep that on. Oh, I can no. smell burnt rubber. You left it Beautiful. But yeah, driving an EV on ice is just a lesson in being gentle with the controls, just as it is in any other car. But EVs often have um, low friction tyres, so they try and eco a little more economy. But this hasn't been too bad, actually. This is quite a tricky old surface. Oh, look at those folks. Oh, put the stereo on by accident again. Oh yeah, that's got the ABS kicking in. But that is actually my foot on the brake this time. And we should go back onto proper roads. With a temperature below five degrees, we are definitely seeing um, a drop off in the range. That is um, a fairly significant drop, which is perhaps not surprising. That was entirely expected. 
Uh, coming up to our rest width, I think we were averaging 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour, and I'd normally expect to do 4, 4.2 on that section. So it's not a huge difference, but obviously EVs tend to have a fairly limited range anyway, and that just makes it that little bit worse. So if you are looking at an EV and you're thinking, oh yeah, that range means it can do what I expect, bear in mind you will not get the same range in winter. And another thing is, the claimed range of this car is 140 miles, but that's 140 miles from 100% charged to dead. And uh, you're not likely to do that. So always take a chunk off those um, distance figures as well, because you're more likely to run between 85 and say 20%. That's better for battery life. Uh, better all round really. So just a fairly short one this time on the electric Fiat. Uh, I know not everyone's been loving this series but we only have one more visit video to come because we uh, only have a few days left with the little Fiat so expect some conclusions fairly shortly as well as um, got a test drive lined up and hopefully some fleet shenanigans. So thank you for watching we'll see you in a future video. Farewell. about what's just happened oh, uh, I would but I'm trying not to die okay cool we yeah you can explain that. so well, for some reason somebody decided we're gonna go up Rue Gorch which if you know this area uh, is the steepest way out of Avery Run and his famous words just before we started to climb were is this treated at uh, which point, as I pointed out, it's definitely not, not absolutely definitely not treated. So we got just up there, and now we're going back down there, because this was perhaps not a good there. idea. Very, I've had to turn the traction control off because we got stuck. Yeah, so what happened, darling? It was slippy. On a, no, on a physical... Uh, there was just no grip at all. There was absolutely none at all. We just started to ballet dance across the road. Just quite well, now the ABS scary. Is in. <laughs> Should we go the long way around? Yeah, let's go the long yeah, way. You're going to cut through that way. Oh, yeah, we can. Now. That oh, really yeah. just finally ended, hasn't it? But yeah, just a little addendum to our video. I think that was a perfect demonstration, don't you? A perfect demonstration of a complete yeah. loss of grip. Entirely. It utterly went. I wish we were filming at that moment. <laughs>